food is made up of two or more materials added together example cooked rice is made up of rice salt and water these materials are called ingredients of food common examples are water salt sugar spices milk ghee butter oil etc the name giraffe is derived from the arabic word zarafa the giraffe is the world's tallest mammal it is a herbivore animal the cheetah is the world's fastest land mammal it can reach speeds of at least 105 km per hour do you know about insect eating plants some plants like venus fly trap trap an insect in its leaves and digest soft parts of the insect this plant is found in moist soil which is poor in nitrogen content this is an example of a plant which is carnivorous in nature leaves of the tea plant are dried processed and then used to make tea cauliflower and broccoli are cultivated forms of wild cabbage coffee seeds are used to make coffee beverages when the seeds begin to germinate by developing tiny roots they are called sprouts the sprouts contain many vitamins which make them a more nutritious food huge increase in milk production is known as white revolution cod is a kind of fish which provides cod liver oil which is a rich source of vitamin a the rearing of honey bees is known as apiculture the traditional method of collecting honey from honeycomb is to burn fire under it which makes the bees fly away glucose fructose sucrose lactose are different forms of sugar carbohydrates table sugar contains sucrose fruits contain fructose honey contains fructose and sucrose and milk contains lactose nutritious food and good eating habits result in sound health and proper mental development always wash your hands to avoid contamination of food add a variety of items to your food to get proper nutrition do you know our hair and nails are made of proteins wool and silk are also proteins but these are not edible proteins the energy given by foods is measured in terms of calories eating the right kind of food is not enough it should be cooked properly so that its nutrients are not lost moreover if excess water is used for cooking washing cereals rice or vegetables it results in the loss of proteins and minerals during india's struggle for freedom mahatma gandhi started the swadeshi movement he urged people to use all things made in india He encouraged Indians to stop using the machine made imported yarn and spin yarn themselves for cotton using charkha. This yarn could be easily weaved to make khadi which is a popular fabric even today. Mahatma Gandhi Many places in India are famous for their handloom sarees. These differ from one another in the pattern of weaving and their designs. Kanjivaram silk is one such type of fabric. Shehtoosh is a fabric made from fiber obtained from a type of deer. It has now been banned because it involved cruelty to the deer. Angora, Kashmiri, 
mink or some other animal fibers obtained from fur of goat or rabbit. Silk was first made in China in 3000 BC. Plants are further classified into flowering and non-flowering, aquatic and terrestrial. Animals are also classified into aquatic, terrestrial and so on. Pencil is made up of wood, writing lead and paint. Lead is made up of clay and graphite. The Greek and the Indian philosophers thought that everything around us, including our body, was made up of five basic elements, namely earth, fire, water, air and sky. These five elements in Indian philosophy are called Panchatattva. Mirrors shine as they reflect the light which falls on their surface. Most of the metals are hard. Transparency is the property of materials by which they allow light to pass through them. Colas and sodas contain carbon dioxide gas dissolved in them. This gives them their fizz. If you put a wooden block in a river, it will float. Our body is a good conductor of electricity. Mercury is a good conductor of heat. This is why it is used in thermometers. The process of deliberately mixing food materials with cheap, unwanted, harmful things is called food adulteration. It leads to many health hazards. The process of sedimentation can be made faster by loading. In this process, a block of alum is suspended in muddy water. The mud particles become heavier and settle down. The clear layer of liquid formed during sedimentation is called supernatant liquid. Water obtained by condensing water vapors is called distilled water and is the purest form of water. Centrifugation is used in laboratories for separating plasma and platelets from blood. Milk can be easily turned into curd. For this, milk is warmed and a little amount of curd is added to it. The container is kept undisturbed in a warm place for 3 to 4 hours. The milk sets into curd. Formation of a new substance can be checked by checking its melting point. A new substance is formed if its melting point changes. Water is an exception to the cooling phenomenon. When water turns to ice, its volume increases. If you fill a glass with water up to the brim and freeze it, you will find that the ice has risen above the brim. Though the banana plant is very tall, it is not a tree. It is a herb. Banana plant is the largest herb on the earth. There are small pores called stomata on the underside of the leaf through which water is lost as water vapor. The arrangement of sepals or petals in a ring-shaped layer is called a vrol. Pollination can take place in many ways. One of the agents of pollination is a butterfly. When a butterfly sits on a flower, its feet transfer the pollen from the anther to the stigma. Non-living things also show movements but their movements are due to some external force or energy. For example, hands of a clock, blades of a fan, a car or bicycle. These movements stop when the source of energy is removed. Spinal cord controls all the reflexes of the human body. Earthworms find it difficult to move on smooth surfaces because the bristles can't grip the surface. Cockroaches can walk up walls because of many small hair on their feet which maintain grip. 
a cockroach can run up to 3 miles per hour the movement of cockroaches has been studied and copied while making if we go to high mountains say for a vacation we feel breathlessness for some time due to less oxygen in the air soon our body adjusts itself and we become normal these small and temporary changes in body which make an organism better suited to its changed surroundings are called acclimatization these are different from adaptation it is believed that dinosaurs were wiped out from the earth because they couldn't adapt themselves to the changing weather conditions some fishes like dolphins and whales do not have gills to breathe they don't have a nose either instead they have blow holes through which they take in air into their lungs although they can stay inside the water for a long time without breathing they have to come frequently to the surface of water to take in air when the color of an organism helps it to blend in with its surroundings in such a way that its presence cannot be known and it is protected from its enemies it is called camouflage A giraffe has a long neck so that it can eat the leaves present on trees at height. It has long legs so that it can run very fast when it senses danger. Virus, a microorganism, is considered to be the link between living and non-living things. Some scientists believe it to be living while some consider it a non-living thing your nose will keep on growing even after you have attained full growth of your body giant redwood trees in south america also keep on growing till they live since they live for 300 400 years they are the tallest trees on earth Whales appear to be fishes but they do not lay eggs they give birth to their young ones movement and locomotion are two separate terms locomotion is the movement from one place to another but movement means motion in any part of body the surface of mars is very rough Therefore special probes or instruments with small wheels were required to study its surface and atmosphere these probes were transported to mars by spacecrafts in 1970 the french created a standard system of measurement called metric system SI is the abbreviation of the Système International de Units in French language meaning International System of Units of Measurement All living beings show motion whereas the non-living things show motion only when some force is acting on them A tree can't move from one place to another but its leaves might be in motion the motion which does not repeat itself at equal intervals of time is called non periodic some non luminous objects on strong heating start glowing and become luminous an iron rod glows on heating but on cooling it again becomes non luminous if you look closely at the shadow of a tree on ground you will see many circular spots of light these are actually images of the sun the tiny gaps between the leaves act as pinholes through which sunlight enters giving us several images of sun silver metal is the best reflector of light rays its reflectance is 95% 
it is because of irregular reflection that we can see objects from every direction irregular reflection of sunlight by objects around us enables our room to have light during the day even if sunlight does not directly fall into it dry cell was invented by a french scientist georges leclenchy in 1866 it is never dry from inside flow of electrons through the electric circuit is called electric current an electric bulb is considered to be fused if its filament breaks as this breaks the circuit and so the bulb does not glow in a battery the positive terminal of one cell is connected to the negative terminal of the other cell silver conducts electricity better than any other metal but electric wires are not made up of silver as it cost too much to the user so we use copper or aluminum wires instead magnets believed to have magical healing powers queen of greece cleopatra used to sleep on a block of magnetite maglev is short for magnetic levitation which means lifting a body up by magnetic force since these trains move a little above the rails they can move very fast magnets can be used for many years provided one takes care of them in cold weather the upper layer of the water in ocean freezes but since ice is an insulator the lower region of the ocean remains as water only therefore helping in survival of aquatic lives the melting point of ice is 0 degree celsius and boiling point of water is 100 degree celsius rivers bring minerals and salts with them which flow into the sea at some places sulfur springs are also present for example at sona near gurgaon chilka lake in orissa contains saline water not fit for drinking the speed of wind cannot be controlled but having more forest prevents the storms from causing destruction compressed air is heavier than air around us that is why when a balloon is filled with air it falls down the pressure exerted by atmosphere is called atmospheric pressure and it can be measured by barometer water vapor in air is called humidity when the humidity of air increases it falls down as rain when we breathe through our nostrils the fine hair and mucus present inside our nose act as filters and prevent dust particles from going into our body that is why we should not breathe through our open mouth the trapping of sun's heat by certain gases present in air is called greenhouse effect these gases are carbon dioxide and methane due to increased pollution amount of these gases increases in the environment which leads to increase in greenhouse effect which in turn causes global warming bacteria and fungi are microorganisms which help to decompose waste these are so small that they cannot be seen by our naked eyes waste management is the collection transport processing and disposal of waste materials in villages the crop residue and animal dung can be recycled in the biogas plant to make biogas which can be used to cook food 
and to generate electricity. Red worms don't have teeth. They have a gizzard to digest food. Powdered eggshells or seashells can be added to help them in grinding their food.